that a girl is getting ready for work. I'm pretty much all done. I just have to put on product in my hair. Depending on where you work, and I don't know the rules. I love to do my makeup before, like, work. Um, because it makes me feel good. So, I am going to be using the Too Chic Ultra Moist Living Leave and Conditioning. I vary from this one, or the Eco Gel thing, or... You know what? Let's actually use this one today because I'm going to use her up. And then the conditioning cream gel curled sculpt. I feel like they all kind of give me a little bit of a different style. The curl sculpt, I feel like, is more... Um, What is the word? More gel-like when it sets in and it's all dry. It stays a little bit more gel-like, I feel like. And then the other one is more natural. And then to enhance the curls, I kind of just do this. And then hopefully... Some of them really do stay, some of them, you know, just don't really stay all too well, but that's kind of what I do. So today I'll be working at my 9.30 to 5. Um, I did not want to wake up this morning, like, at all. But good thing I work today, and then I'm off again. I had worked, oh my gosh, so many days in a row. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I had worked, like, six days in a row, almost, because... That's just the way my schedule was kind of set up as. But now that I have her, and you know, she's gonna be my, my only client full time, then I'll be working um, four days in a row, and then a day off, and then work, and then a day off. So, I actually kind of appreciate um, not having two days off in a row. I don't know why. I feel like if I have two days off in a row, it gets me off of my routine in a sense. I don't know. So, that's pretty much what I do for my hair. Nothing crazy, and then I just, you know, like I said, I put those, I try to make it very, as curly as I can with the time that I have. Um, if I had more time, obviously, I'd be trying to curl it a lot more. And then I put hairspray. I used to never put hairspray. But up until recently... I've been wanting to. <laughs> and I use the Tresemme Ultra Fine Hairspray in level 3, and it does the trick. If you know one that's a little bit better, better for the environment or air quality, I don't know. But let me know. So, your girl is stopping by for some Duncan. So here I am at work and 
basically my client was taking a shower so I had some downtime to just enjoy my coffee that I literally just got and then I'm like I saw my book and I'm like you know what I should read which I ended up only reading like literally one page because I just wasn't feeling specifically what it was talking about the chapter beforehand was really interesting but this chapter was mostly about like distance between people and basically like um the distance that you have when you're speaking to people so a complete stranger family um a friend like reading the distance that someone is giving you to kind of know how they feel about you how they feel towards you the book is so interesting it's literally like about psychology and people so You're a liar. Um, I got back like two hours ago ish. Um, my client was gonna take a nap an hour before I was like basically gonna leave, and she was like, Well, if you like, you can leave early. I'm like, Are you sure? So then I left early, and it was like 40 minutes. 40 35 minutes early um and i'm was like you know what i really want to go to ulta and i've been meaning to go to ulta but me wanting to not i don't know i don't know like the employees are kind of watching and seeing if you're not you know like stealing anything and um and obviously they're also they're doing their job like they're asking you hey do you need anything hey do you need anything hey do you need anything and i'm like i'm bro i'm good i'm just browsing thank you today that i went was actually really good i was asked twice within my visit and I don't feel like I was necessarily like, you know, like people were like, the employees were really looking or whatever. Like, yeah, they were kind of doing, you know, they were walking around, but I don't know. I just felt like I'm a lot more comfortable. And I don't know if that's just like the growth in me that now I, I feel, but makeup stores are kind of like that for me. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it is. Um, and yeah. So, I'm going to show you what I got from Ulta. So, I got the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I got a small little size because I don't know if it's going to work for me or not. I have um, right now the Kush Mascara and the... Benefit Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So this one. And then I have the Kush Mascara by Milk. And these two do two different things. And I do like them. Don't get me wrong. But both of them smear. And it's annoying. Roller Lash doesn't as much but milk definitely a little bit more it's not necessarily like um a huge deal breaker you know like i'm gonna purchase it again because they're really good mascaras one gives you like really good volume and the other one gives you more of a lengthening um a lot more natural look so i've been meaning to try a tubing mascara because I want that really like sharp um pow 
of a mascara that's got like you can see that it's just gripped it's up there it's gripped it's staying up there and with the other mascaras i feel like they kind of just wear down after a little while and when i went to this concert um i was i asked a girl what mascara are you using and she said it was a tubing mascara from i forgot from that uh that blue brand i think it's tula i don't know but so then you know what i'm gonna try the tartlet tubing mascara it's supposed to be kind of the same thing so we'll try that and then i've been meaning to buy a uh eyeliner that's kind of like a cream color to put like right here on my waterline so it can make my eyes pop a little bit more when i want it to um and i do have these two other ones that do that for me but they don't stay put they literally like they go away and they don't stay put through the whole day for me and this one is supposed to be waterproof 18 hour wear so i've heard good things about the color pop oh it is the color pop i didn't even tell you the color pop bff creme gel liner so i'm gonna try that out and i am gonna go look at my oh Let's go look at the noodles. Okay. All right, so I was starting to boil some water and now it's ready. And I got some pot size spaghetti, which is freaking awesome. Uh, just put it in there. So it's nice because you don't have to like actually divide it in half. Let me see that. I'm pretty sure it's the same time. Four quarts of water. Four quarts. Yeah, 10 to 12 minutes. All right. Okay. So the second thing that I got, and this one I really splurge on because I've been using my Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation. And it's great. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. It's drugstore. Um, maybe link fit me matte poreless foundation. I have it in shade 120, and the shade down 118 is still not my color. So I put a dash of white on here, and it makes it a little bit better. I feel like you know today's a pretty good day with foundation. Um, but I feel like I get really oily, so right now you can see the oils, and I want to try to find a foundation that's not going to be as oily. This 24 hour foundation, Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage, yes, it's full coverage, it's definitely full coverage, but the only thing is that oh my god do i get so oily with this foundation like maybe i need to find a way to set it really well and that's probably like my mistake that i'm making with my foundations is not knowing how to set them and that's maybe why but so then i got the estee lauder because i've been meaning to get it because i really liked it when i tried it it's so freaking good like i, I got a sample of it and it was a bit too um too light and a sample i got was years ago dude i have not made the splurge and up until now i'm like you know what you're gonna do it you wear foundation every single day you're gonna splurge on that foundation because it's 48 dollars bro 48 dollars that's a lot of fucking money bro so anyways i got the estee Lauder and shade IN2. IN2. And I saw if it was like my color, and I think it is. I asked for a sample. They don't do samples anymore at Ulta. So I'm like, okay, well, if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to return it. I'm like, whatever. It's either you're going to give me a sample of this bit or you're going to lose the whole foundation. But, anyways. Yeah, I'm so excited. 
and I'm thinking about it and yeah, I feel like it's maybe my prep, but I don't know. What do we think? So your girl came to Cheesecake Factory and I'm waiting on my mom. Um, we, I told her that I would meet her here at 12 and per usual, she is like, oh, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm like, okay. Um, and she is not here yet, but I called in the Cheesecake Factory and I called them and I asked them if there was immediate seating or if we, there was like a line to actually um, be seated and there's not a line which is good so that means that they're not that busy and uh, so I tried out the Estee Lauder foundation and I feel like it's a little bit too pinky for me um, okay now I have two cars right in front of me I feel like it's too pinky for me um, and I asked for a sample and they weren't willing to give me a sample because they don't do that anymore. They only do that for Chanel products. So then, oh, I think my mom's coming inside. I see her. So your girl just got back from <sighs> two things. I went to Cheesecake Factory and then I went to Ulta because my shade was the one that I picked out was not my shade, and obviously I had to exchange it and whatnot. So a girl helped me pick out my shade, and she gave me a Chanel and a Stay Lauder um, sample because they didn't have it in the store, so I have to wait for them to ship it out for me. So she was amazing, literally a star, so amazing. Anyways, let's talk about my outfit. Aren't they so fucking cute? It's so cute. Um, I literally got a compliment right away as I went into Ulta. So I'm like, thank you. Um, so, yeah. Now I got back home and I'm going to undress from this stuff and probably put on some comfy clothes and comfy shoes because I was wearing these guys and I just get used to like wearing those kind of shoes I haven't worn these shoes in like ever since like probably a good year and a half or a year um, so I have to get used to that now I have to take care of the house. So I have to change my outfit. 